Installing a camera and configuring 3D printing time lapses, this time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here and welcome back to Hack 5. In the last few videos, we've been working on modifying our 3D printer to make it more user friendly and more versatile. Today, we're going to be talking about adding a camera and configuring time lapses so that every time we run a 3D print, we can have an automated time lapse and we can also remotely view the print from anywhere in the world, not that you should be leaving your printer unattended. And we'll be able to control and configure and do all the things and have a good idea of what it's doing thanks to this little camera. Now, parts you'll need for this is the 3D printer with the Octopi and other mods we've done over the last several videos. And you'll also, of course, need a Pi camera. Usually something with a wide lens will be better, but just about anything will work with the right mounting. You're gonna almost certainly need an extended ribbon cable, and you'll also need a mounting bracket of some type. Now, thankfully, we're working with a 3D printer, so we can just design and print our own. Now, I linked the files for this one down below, and you'll also need some way to mount it to the printer itself, whether that's double-sided tape, magnets, hot glue, that's up to you. And that's about it, let's get started. So first things first, let's have a look at the mount I designed. Now this is a pretty simple and straightforward part. In fact, it's almost a little too simple. I'll demonstrate later, but there's a little bit of flex in this piece that I'm going to fix before I release the files. And other than that, I designed it to use a couple of M2 self-tapping screws as the hinge part here. However, I seem to be running a bit low on those at the moment, so I'm actually going to use a piece of 3D printing filament because it's roughly the same size when you count for the whole shrinkage. There are some mounting screws for the camera module itself, and this whole thing is mounted sideways, and so I'll also demonstrate how to rotate the camera view 90 degrees so it's actually looking the length of the printer. Let's not make that hand motion moving swiftly on. Now this upgrade is so simple that I almost didn't feel it was worth making a video on just because it's so plug and play. The Pi is pre-configured to take the camera footage and stream it through to Cura or the web UI or any other plugin that you might want to install. But you don't need to do any software setup outside of the initial Octopi setup, it just works. Install the camera, mount it, point it at your print, and hit print. And there you have it. We have the camera mounted up and connected to the printer. Now, as you can see, it's aimed down from the top. However, we're looking at it a little offset, and this can be confusing if you're trying to verify that a print is going the way that it should. So what we can do real quick is go into our OctoPrint settings, go down to camera, webcam and time-lapse, enable webcam support should already be on, stream URL is fine, Aspect ratio. Now this is actually a 4x3 camera and I want to make full use of all of the resolution available instead of cropping it down to 16x9. So we'll set that to 4x3 and we can rotate webcam counterclockwise and it flipped it the wrong way. So we need to go back into settings and also hit flip webcam vertically. So between rotating it and flipping it, there we go. Now, one thing I do wish was possible was to set up an area. Basically, I want to be able to crop and zoom. However, I don't think you can do that in the UI. You can probably do that in the configuration files for the actual camera or the uh, underlying code if you SSH into it. However, I don't really want to mess with all that because you risk running into issues and actually breaking parts and features. And now if we go back to the menu and click over to the time-lapse tab, we can set on Z change. And what that does is it will actually attempt to take a snapshot image every time the Z axis changes so that hopefully, ideally, you get a nice smooth up and down motion. And it looks like the print is just molting out of the bed, basically, instead of a lot of bed jitters and so on. Now, of course, you do want to read the notes here. Uh, it does not work when printing from the SD card use time mode for that instead. Basically, there's no way for it to know when it changes the Z axis and take a snapshot. So for that, you just wanna hit timed. However, if you're printing over USB, it will basically take a snapshot every time it sends a Z G code change. You can also make it persist across, or across restarts. 
so that when the printer gets power cycled, it will automatically use these settings and work next time. This probably won't be the greatest of time lapses, simply because it's black filament on a black bed. I was not entirely prepared for this. And if we switch over to Cura, I've loaded up our trusty little Wi-Fi pineapple. This has kind of become our Bodhi thing that we use to test. Hit print with Octoprint, and we'll get a nice view of the camera stream. Now my camera isn't the most focused here, so this will be a little bit on the fuzzy side. However, let's let it print and see how the time lapse turns out. So obviously this camera positioning isn't ideal. The extruder's in a lot of the shot and blocks a lot of the print. You also can't see that much with this wide angle lens from this high up. So be sure to play with camera positioning. Just make sure you don't obstruct any of the moving parts. I'd also suggest not using black filament if you actually want some aesthetically pleasing time lapses. I'll be sure to change that before I do any more time lapse prints. Maybe some highly vibrant yellow or green, who knows. And that's really all there is to it. The camera setup is so simple. Like I said, I almost didn't even think it was worth making a video on. However, several of you asked, so here it is. Now, I do think we're gonna take a break for at least a few videos before we do any more Octoprint 3D printer shenanigans. I have a couple other projects in the works that I can't wait to share with you, as well as some ham radio stuff. So be sure to stay tuned. I've been Glitch, this has been Hack5, Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.